Hello everybody, welcome back to Combat 2 by Compass Games. I'm by Ross Martel. We're on my fourth campaign. Uh, mission number five. It's January ooh. I want to say 13th. 1945. And we are attacking the hedgerow with a little armor support. And right now we've got them pretty well bottled up over here. Um, this is a little tough nut to crack right down here, but uh, I think we've got that. Um, I am getting ready to issue my orders and get out my initiative card. Got two guys that can see him. Actually, three guys that can see. Actually, four guys that can see him. This guy can't. Well, let's see what our initiative is first. Very good initiative. These guys are both normal. I can't charge him anyway because I can't see him. I could throw a grenade his way. I think I'm just going to evade. I don't mind losing the minus one um, for hand-to-hand -hand combat getting him in there. I'm going to evade him up this way. and Let's keep this guy down here covered with... Um, This guy's going to aim fire. I'm going to evade. Coleman, stay with Evans um, up here. He can be the backup, so if he does get this guy, he doesn't get overrun. Um, I am also going to evade. Floor is up to. I'll probably stop him right there. I don't like leaving guys out in the open, but I do want everybody to start moving forward here. And this guy's going to aim fire. All right, on the tank. <sighs> um, we fired on turn four. We do need the load. Did we fire on turn four? I think we did. Um, so... I am I asking for a lot staying there. I don't know whether I really like that position or not. Though they are moving. Um, I could have re rotated too. I should have rotated and I didn't. We're going to do that this time, but... And you can do that without moving. So, you know what? I don't want that. I'm being stupid. I want spot. My mind saw what I wanted to see. Um, loader's going to load HE. Um, because we don't have anything in the breach at this moment, I'm going to put both of these guys on rapid fire. MG rapid. And I'm going to put the commander on direct targets. Direct fire, and um, we're going to just start. We're going to rotate the tank and start taking these guys out. Hopefully, before they start doing their um, their uh, Panzer Faust thing uh, down here. I'm going to put an aimed fire on Howard. He'll be loading on his first. But he'll be able to fire regular on his second um, firing phase. Nice thing about quick reload is you don't lose him the whole turn. I'm going to put hide. You know what? I'm going to put rally on him. It's not going to hurt to try to rally him. And then I'm going to put medical medical um, aid on my corpsman. Or not my corpsman. My medically trained soldier. And down here. I won't need to tank out here no more. These guys can both attempt to see him. So I'm going to go ahead and put them both on aim fire. We're going to take this guy on. I want to keep moving, but until we see what that is, we're not going to do it. We're going to just put aim fire on them. That takes care of my orders. Go to the German orders. we got Red up here, who is normal. Smoke is actually cover. Running gun 6. About all movements going to be to the rear now because they're broken. So there's going to be running gun 3-2. Alright, 
the Reds initiative and I forgot to get rid of the cards. Remove all of them and I forgot to send that one down. Wow, what did I do with that? Oh, there it is. Duh. That goes to our initiative. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm screwing up already. I'm having a rough day. I don't know. Just can't seem to get my brain together. Doing laundry. Just can't. I'm not fighting it too much. Making phone calls, getting things lined up for next week. Moves upon me. Next Monday we move. All right. Um. Yellow in the open. Sneak in six. It's going to be a sneak three, two. They are definitely on their way out so far, but you can't, can't, can't get uh, cocky because they can turn around in a heartbeat. This guy is normal in cover. Sneak four, five, which is going to be a sneak three, two. Uh, this guy. Oh, you know what? He's, he can see the tank, too. Five, he's got to take a no TQ check, too. He's actually going to get another Panzerfaust. So we're going to remove that and put a Panzerfaust on him. And that's going to be a fire LET. This guy, he's routed. He's going to leave that Panzerfaust behind. So his route is going to be bad wound sneak three two. And see, they're just that they these will transfer over to the guy adjacent to them. That's going to be yellow. Already has one. That's a discard. We go to white and cover. Press fire. Yellow in cover. <laughs> evade 6-5, which will turn to an evade 2. Uh, he's still waiting. Nobody's within three of them yet. We got cautious in cover. Rally. Hear my laundry going in the background. I wonder what that noise is. Uh, white and cover up here. It's a press fire. Uh, we got yellow and cover down here. Cautious. Press fire. I got blue. Shaken in the open. Evading 1-2. And that will be the way he's going. Evade 1-2. No, it's evade 2 actually. That's Blue's initiative. That that actually fire let should have been, but he, I, I got messed up on that one, so it doesn't matter. Uh, bold in cover. Four. Seven. He's not going to get a fire let. Bold in cover. <laughs> Rapid fire or grenade. He can't rapid fire. He can roll to see if he's going to throw a grenade. Four. Eight does not, so he's going to get an eight fire. That could be dangerous. Ones and twos are not very hard to roll. You have blue down here in the open. Sneaking five, which is going to be a sneak three two. A lot of them disappearing but just enough of them sticking around all right we got the two reds in, co in cover here ain't fire one of them is fire and the other one is 
suppress fire. All right, and then we've got blue in the building, and that's cover. Gonna hide. The wheels are falling off on the defense, and these guys are in cover yellow. Normal running gun four five. It's gonna be a running gun three two. All right, set up the initiative track. Our best is four, their best is nine. It's going to be Baker, Red, Abel, Charlie. Followed by white, blue, yellow. All right, we start out with Baker. Baker, 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 Baker. He is evading. Keep him in cover. Put him right there. Down here, he's aiming fire. Can't do anything but spot. There's nobody to spot. Nah, it's blocked by the hedge. All right. Um, so that is it for Baker. We go to red. Running gun three up here. He'll go down to here. Ain't fire suppressed fire doing nothing. That's it for red. Nice and easy reds now. Abel. He's going to evade to there. These guys rallying and medical aid are doing nothing, so we go to Charlie. Oh, and I forgot the tank again. Forgot the tank again. I, I'm very good at forgetting that lately. I miss this whole game. Tank should have been six. That would have made him... Huh. Second best. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tank in there second best and make him move right now before what well, we already did red. So we can't undo that, but uh, we'll do we'll do the uh, tank real quick. Did I screw it up again? At least we're catching it. Uh, commander, directing fire. Uh, driver, spotting. Being as we got this guy up here. I think we'll go ahead and keep the tank facing the way I'm facing so I can try and maybe take him out. I don't know, though. If I turn it, my my gunner and my... No, the gunner's... One or the other's not going to be able to fire. If I turn, I'm going to lose my turret, and the gunner's not going to be able to fire at anybody. And the driver won't be either. I mean, co-driver co won't be able to neither. So we're going to stay where we're at for the driver. Gunner's going to go ahead and fire. He's got their target on the guy sneaking in a hedgerow. That's going to be a minus two. So we've got the gunner. Five, six, seven. Minus three for no loader. Gets down to a four. Minus two for the sneak in the hedge goes down to a two. Minus one for the weather goes down to a one. The range is three. That's going to be plus two goes back up to three. So three, uh, four shots for three. One, two, one, one. Wow. All four shots hit. Unbelievable take it though close call light wound close call bad wound pretty sure with all that we don't have to roll a thing no he's badly wounded already so these are all going to discard and he is going to be killed and he was already badly wounded and routed so we're not going to get any points for that one on the combat tracker i mean the confidence tracker 
that will stay there once again somebody else will die with the Panzerfaust in that hex there's lots of dead bodies in that that's probably a bad hex to get into you think and these will switch over to here the guy adjacent to them All right, that was Gunner the loader. It's going to load HE. Um, and the co-driver is going to try to get his target set on that. And that's going to be a 5, 6, 9. I deem it important. I'm going to go ahead and roll this. 1. Good, he can place his target marker. I deem it important with that fire LAT out there. Okay, that's the tank then. So we're done with the tank officially now. We won't get that wrong again. We did Able already, so now we go to Charlie. Charlie, I have an aimed fire here. Can't do anything but spot. I have an evade here. I'm just going to go ahead and move him back there go around him. I hate stack encounters if I don't have to. He's aimed fire, can't do anything but spot. Down here, aimed fire, can't do anything but spot. He's going to spot him seven, goes up to an eight, running gun in a tree. Is a minus one. That goes to a six, no, a seven. I'm going to get a happy face regardless. We do see him. No. That is a soldier. This guy's aim fire can't do anything but spot. There's nobody to spot. We go to white. Suppress fire can't see anybody. This guy's aim fire can't do anything but spot. This guy's rallying. That's it for white. We go to red. Oh, not red, blue. Fire LAT can't do anything but spot. Evading two. Goes to there. This guy's sneaking three down to here. This guy's hiding and he is still waiting. Go to yellow. Sneaking three goes down to here. Evading two goes up to here. Depressed fire can't do anything. The other yellow up here disappeared. This guy's going to run and gun three two. He runs down to there. He's still dangerous with the running gun order. And that's the end of impulse one. We go to impulse number two. Start off with Baker. He's going to evade right to there. Down here, his aim fire will get him to remove his out of ammo marker because he has quick reload. The tank. They start with the commander who's directing fire. We got the driver who is spotting. And I'm going to keep keep facing this way right now so we can take this guy out. Um, Gunner facing this way. He's moved his target over to here. Once again, we start out with a 7. Minus 3 from no feeder goes down to a 4. Minus 1 for the weather goes down to a 3. Aimed fire and a hedge takes us down to a 2. And we add 2 for the range goes back up to a 4. We fire 4 times for 4. Two, five, zero, seven. That's two cards. A light wound and a close call. And the zero is the close call. So the light wound, at least going to take that aim fire off him. So I don't have to worry about that. He gets a light wound. It's four. Goes up to a five. Down to a four. Five, he fails. He'll go down two. And then his close call is a 4, minus 2 is a 2, and he fails that, so we do, well, yes, he does go up to a, these guys shouldn't be aggressive, yeah, they are, my guys are all aggressive, um, he won't go anywhere then, um, he fails that, goes down 1, let's go take him down to shaken. 
All right, uh, next is the loader who's already loading or loaded. And then we go to the co driver who has range of four. He is a six, seven, eight, minus three for the uh, minus three for the node feeder goes down to a five, minus one for the weather. The mist goes down to a four. Fire LAT from the hedge minus goes down to a three. And we got two more for the smoke goes down to one. Range of four adds one goes up to a two. We got four shots for two. Four, zero, four, six. One possible hit. KIA, that's the only hit we need, huh? Very nice. So that is going to remove that. And it's going to remove that. And that's going to take him and give us a KIA. And another Panzerfaust left discarded on the battlefield as this goes down to 14 now. <sighs> All right, tank is kicking some butt over here. We're not going to get many KFs from my guys, but get, hopefully going to get the win. We go to red, running gun 3-2. He can't see anybody, so he's going to run 2. Aim fire, depress fire, can't do anything. That's it for red. We go to able. He's going to evade. You know what? It's safe to evade out here now. We'll evade him right to there. Uh, rally and medical aid. They're done. We go to Charlie. Aimed fire. This guy's evading. This guy's aimed fire. Can't see anybody now. So I'm just going to go ahead. and I'm going to leave an aimed fire on him just in case. Same with him. These guys are both aimed fire. We got a 5 at a range of 3. Goes up to a 6. Minus 1 for the weather. Goes down to a 5. Running gunning in the open. Goes down to a 4. One shot. Gets a 4. Not deadly. Light wound. That puts him in a very vulnerable position. Gets a light wound. 5 goes down to a 4. He Fails that. He's also going to drop down to shaken, I believe it is. Yes, it is. Morale shaken. And this guy's going to fire. I think you can still see him. Yes. Five. Goes down to a four. Goes down to a three for the running gun. Goes back up to a four for the um, um, range. Three shots for four. Two, three, two, ouch, and he's deadly too. Something tells me. First hit, a light wound or a light wound. Second hit is a bad wound or a light wound. And the third hit is a close call or a bad wound. So out of all of that, we're going to take a light wound, a bad wound, and a bad wound. And I'm pretty sure, yes, that's seven total, and he's already got one on him. That's eight. He is a dead man. So we're going to go ahead and discard all these. We don't need to roll anything. Um, Mitchell will pick up his third KF. And this guy is going to go away. And that brings us to... Two more down on the confidence track. They are real close to surrendering. Make sure that we don't put any up, anybody up over here. you got to watch that. Every once in a while to throw a KIA guy over into that column. And I have no idea why. All right. That is Charlie. We go to White. Rallying. Docking back goes to a hide. Suppress fire. Can't see anybody. That's in for White. We go to Blue. Waiting, evading two up to here, sneaking. I moved him last time. He should not have moved. Well, he's not going to move this time. I did it to a couple guys. They should not have moved. All right, we go to yellow. He already snuck two. Yeah, I, I did it to quite a few guys. This guy's going to evade up to here. This guy suppress fire doing nothing. That's it for yellow. We go to impulse number three. A 
starting out with Baker. He's going to move right to there. I'm going to keep him moving till. Yeah, I don't really give this guy a real good chance to get at us, but I'm going to keep him moving regardless. Um, I got to, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and duck him back right now. Uh, this guy's name, Fire, can't do anything but spot. We go to the uh, tank. And the driver, I'm going to go ahead right now. Rotate that. That's the driver. You can't see anybody. Um, the commander already has his target on him. Uh, the gunner has his target on him. The loader, got on the load. The gunner actually will rotate the turret left. He can't fire because he's rotating the turret. And the co-driver is going to try to move his. Then he does. With the one, he moves his, his target over to here. Next time, we're going to lay into him righteous again. And that's it for the tank. Next impulse, red. Running gun, 3-2. He will move up to here. Aim, fire, suppress, fire. That's it for red. We go to able. Evading right to here. Rallying a medical aid. We go to Charlie. Evading right to here. Both of these guys are in fire. Can't see anybody. But these guys are in fire, they can't see anybody. White. Rallying. Suppress fire, can't see anybody. Hiding, can't do anything. Blue. Evading two, up to here. Sneaking three, can't do anything. Hiding. And then yellow. He's evading too. This guy's sneaking, can't do anything yet. This guy's suppressed fire, can't do anything yet. That is the end of impulse three. We'll go to impulse number four. Get rid of all the moves. And we start out with Baker. He's going to go to a hide. Down here, we have an aimed fire. He's a seven. Or six, rather. Uh, plus one for the range is a seven. Minus one for the weather goes down to a six. Hiding in a hedge goes down to a three. Two shots for three. A one and a five. We draw one card. Light wound. Makes his day even worse. And that's going to make him more importantly, duck back again, which is going to suck till his turn comes, because now he is um, at the mercy of the tank with two guys firing at him. And that brings him down to a zero for his wounded morale check, and he gets the zero. That's equal to, so he does go down one. Ah, uh, you know what? No. Unmodified zero. Unmodified zero. I think that trumps the day. So that's going to be no effect. That's all right. He's got a lot of stuff coming his way anyway. Um, tank. As I said, he's got a lot of stuff coming his way anyway. Commander's directing. You know what? I've been forgetting to add the direct, the direct fire modifier too. And they've still been killing people. So driver's spotting. Uh, gunner's going to fire. He is a 567 plus Oh, that's plus two for the range is an eight nine minus three for no uh, feeder is a six uh, minus one for the weather is a five ducking back in a hedge goes down to a four four shots for four four six nine and nine and he runs out of ammo that was the gunner but we do get a hit straight from nothing to out of ammo That's all right. And I'm going to go ahead and have him duck back then. And that's one hit. KIA. Don't need any more than that. Remove. 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 
remove status KIA, and that is two more on the confidence tracker. And the tank chalks up another one. Look at that, that just disappeared. There's just the hedgerow, hedge, what's left of the hedgerow is littered with German bodies. Um, red. Up here's running gun. He can actually see somebody. That's going to be a 4 minus 2. Minus 1 for the weather goes down to a 1. Hiding in a hedge goes down to a minus 2. So he needs a five, a 0 and a 3. He gets a 3. Uh, down here, these guys are aimed fire and suppress fire. And they can't do anything. So we go to able. He's going to evade into the hedge up here. The other guy's doing a rally and a medical aid. Go to Charlie. He's going to evade right to there. The guys aim fire and aim fire. They can't do anything. We got a name fire and a name fire. They can't do anything. We go to white. Rally. Suppress fire. Sneaking. Impulse 4. He can sneak. That's going to be going direction 2 this time. This guy's hiding. We go to yellow. Sneaking 2. He'll go into the smoke. This guy suppressed fire, can't see anybody. This guy's evading too. And that's it for yellow. That's it for that turn. Chits go to the holding box, impulse goes to one, turn goes to seven. Gotta get, get rid of all the cards. We're going to go check out rallies and everything and do the smoke. Let's do the smoke and everything first. Where I forget, this one goes away. Let's roll for this fire. Two. Wow. Fire spreads. That goes into this hex with him. That's going to hurt. Um... That one clones and moves up to here. The fading clones and moves over to here. And he's in a fire hex now. And I'm going to have to read the rules on that because very rare do I ever run into that. The fading smoke over here. <laughs> ah, sneezing at you guys. The fading smoke over here is going to go away. But the smoke from this fire does not. That fire is going to go five. It's going to continue to rage. Does not spread. This fading right here is going to remove. This smoke right here is going to spread. And this smoke right here is going to move there. And I think this one here is going to go away. I think we got all the smoke. Um, down here, we're going to check the rally. 4 minus 1 is a 3. 6 does not rally. And the medical aid, he is a 4. We get an 8. Hmm. Well, we'll try to do that all over again next turn. And that's going to be the end of the orders. And actually, all these go away, too. Because there's no longer any targets there. That, my friends, is the end of that turn. I will see you guys next time. This is Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mortel. We are on turn number, that was turn number 6 of our attack on the Edgerow on June, January 13th, 1945. Thanks for joining me. See you all next time. Have a good